Alrighty guys, so I'm just going to be making a quick overview video of the DC Works Honda SS OBD1 board. So this board is essentially a plug and play board, which allows you to plug your factory 92 to 95, which is the OBD1 Honda, to a Speedwino V0.4 with absolutely little to no wiring. So the board, when it's fully assembled, will look something like this. But you'll be receiving this board with the connector. The connector will be going here. You'll also be receiving the IDC connector, which is there. The only thing you need to remember is that the slot, the cutout for it, which this piece, goes to the top. You'll be receiving a two terminal, a screw, two screw terminal connector. Goes here with the openings for the wire, the receptacle for the wire going out through here. Relay goes here and you'll be also be receiving uh i think a 10 pack of the the pin headers so the pin headers are just that long black strip and they go in here so you need to break it apart put free hair free hair free two two respectively and in this section this is the auxiliary section of the board for the most part, it stays unpopulated unless you have a reason to use it. But we'll get into that right away. Right, so when you're done assembling your board, here's what you need to do. So you have your... Zoom in there a bit. So we have J1. So J1 are jumpers. So you'll have pin headers popping out there with free heads, essentially. Trying to make it as layman as possible and you'll be getting jumpers so you'll just be use jumper in the center pin to either the pin on the right or the pin on the left same thing for here same thing for here these you just put the jumper over the two um pin headers you will have so j1 is for the o2 signal right and let me break it down as to what exactly everything means so the o2 signal this pin is connected to your speed window so we have nb on the left which stands for narrowband so if you're using the factory narrowband sensor for whatever reason you simply put the jumper over the nb and o2 another reason another reason you may need to use nb is if you wire your o2 sensor through the wire the wiring of your factory narrowband sensor you simply disconnect your factory narrowband sensor and then wire your wideband input to that wire you use nb if you, however, wire your, your wideband to this here, the header, so you just want to make it separate and have a completely neat installation, you wire it here, you simply set the O2 to HDR. JP, J2, sorry, and J3 are essentially the same thing, but one is for the positive side of the sensor and J3 is for the negative side. So VR1, plus and VR1 minus are the crank signal. This is what the, the speed winner would be using to get his RPM signal. So, and on the left here, we have SEQ, which is short for sequential. And on the right, we have BCH. So if you're using the 24 tooth wheel in your distributor and you want to do sequential injection, you put the jumper over the two on the left, the SEQ, jump by two vr1 and similarly if you want to use the four tooth wheel you jump a bch which is batch you jump by two vr1 now the thing about it is that by default the honda distributors are very noisy so the 24 tooth wheel works but however you need a single tooth wheel to give the issue um cylinder position that is already wired to your speed window, so you, there's no need to jump at that. So by default, it's already hardwired to the ECU. But the thing about it is that that signal is very noisy. So what I usually recommend for using this board is to just use the BCH, which is the batch, which is a four tooth wheel in the distributor. So you would be jumpering this one to BCH and this one to BCH, and then you'd have a four tooth trigger providing RPM signal or RPM data to the speed window. The car will run just fine with that. The only thing is that you cannot do sequential injection. You'll be restricted to either batch injection or semi-sequential injection with that. And then you can only do a single coil. 
if you want to use sequential what you can do is just go ahead and then jump it to there but the, the single tooth trigger in the distributor is very noisy so what I do I usually just remove one tooth from the 24 tooth wheel but as for in case you want to go down that route but for the purpose of this video will just be using the BCH so you just jump at this one to here and this one to here set the internet studio set your trigger settings to basic distributor and it will work just fine JP4 and JP5 J4 and J5 sorry J4 is injector output 4 injector output 4 and injector output 1 J5 is injector output 2 and injector output 3 so if you're using batch fire so if you want to join it to have the two cylinders fire at the same time some folks choose to do that you can you simply set the the jumper over these two to jump injector one and four and you set jumper five to have injector two and three fire together but for the most part you don't need to do that you can just go ahead and leave all of this out in a future um, revision i'm probably going to re remove this and then you just end up having to run if you're doing the batch you just end up having to run sequential semi sequential injection with that and quickly in the where is it auxiliary section we have o2 so again if you wire in your white band you can wire it directly to here and then just set jp1 to hdr which is short for header your boost control solenoid from the speed we know you'd wire one it's a two wire so you wire one end to here and the other end goes to a switch 12 volts your flex fuel sensor input to the speed you know you can wire it here and then if for whatever reason you want to do coil and plug then you wire your coils here accordingly so coil number one would go here coil number two would go here coil number three and coil number four respectively and again quick look at it everything will look like this in a future revision all of this will be coming in an enclosure but for the most part this is all you have your ribbon cable will be going to here and then go to the speed window and you simply have ground here you should connect ground on the left here to ground on your speed window and 12 volts here to 12 volts on your speed window and that's all the wiring you would need to do all right so quick video let me guys let me know if this one is crystal clear to you if not we can make a updated video in the future and this is the honda ss obd1 board thanks for watching